Are you sure about fighting this empire? You are putting us in way over our head. We don't have nearly enough resources, or men, for this large scale of the war. Also, from what you tell me, this guy isn't even breaking the Discord mod's laws. People are allowed to make empires and towns with their own laws, as long as none of them contradict the Discord mod's rules. And Little King Ryan's empire hasn't broken any of the Discord mod's rules. This guy is banishing anyone who speaks out against him. It doesn't matter if it's technically allowed, it's wrong. Little King Ryan isn't even killing people, he's just banishing them. He is brainwashing people into thinking he's a god when he just has a band hammer. Well that's just propaganda. Which is just organized lies. I just don't think we need to be fighting someone who isn't a threat to us, and isn't breaking any laws. He's just too big of an enemy for us. We can't take him down like we can smaller organizations. Well not with that attitude. Personally, I've been waiting for a good fight. Even with all our powers, we are up against an empire. We're about to get much bigger, my friend. I've already called upon the help of one of my closest allies, and I'll be looking into ways of recruitment. Who's this ally? Oh, you'll like him. He's an ancient. Thank you for responding, my friend. From what I hear, Little King Ryan is an evil dictator. Of course I would always help you in this cause. Welcome back, mate. Stingy, it's been a while. Indeed it has, now let's get to planning this war. So you're an ancient. Who's that? He's an old friend, an ancient with incredible powers and a tactical mind. He'll be of much use to us. Good. The more people helping us, the better. This war is going to be pretty hard. Oh, don't worry. Tree guy isn't the only one coming. Called upon all of my old allies. Zane, it's good to see you again. I'd like you to meet some of my closest allies. They fought with me in the mask wars. This is Jerky Line, Father Abraham, and Admiral Meme Thief. There's no need for Admiral anymore. The mask wars are over. You are my equal. Thank you, sir. So, uh, is Squid not coming? Squid was never one for a fight. A coward if you ask me. Wow, well, it's nice to finally meet you. Zane always talks so much about the mask wars. I've heard of Little King Ryan. He is a liar who poses as a god. We know better, though. We've dealt with Banhammers firsthand. Corrupt authorities need to be destroyed. I'm glad you caught me. And he is a liar. Those are the worst type of people. But unfortunately, so many rulers are. Well, my friends, go meet your allies and make yourself at home. This will be our base of operations for the coming war. Come on, I'll show you around, and I want to hear about these mask wars they never shuts up about. That's only four more people. If we are taking the fight directly to this massive empire, we are going to need some more help. Yeah, you're definitely right. I'll go out recruiting tonight. There's an easier way of doing that. Have you ever heard of the advertising hub? No. What's that? The city of Slack, also known as the advertising hub is located in the metal seas of Oroan. It allows anyone to advertise their different groups, gangs, empires, or colonies, for people looking to find a place to join. It's a fast way to get people to join up with you. Wait, that's actually a thing? I didn't know you could just advertise a group like a commercial. But be warned, it can be pretty brutal there. I grew up in brutality. I can handle whatever this advertising hub throws at me. All right then, let's go. Strange, I don't recognize you. Did you not grow up in the realm of ancients? I've never been there. My parents grew up there, though, and all they've told me of the place is that Grandmaster Evan was far too controlling. That's why they chose to leave and raise me in the outer worlds. Damn, we actually worked for Evan until Zane convinced us that we were being brainwashed and taken advantage of. And the more I think about it, Zane was totally right. It is the duty of an ancient to protect the common man, yet Grandmaster even encourages the ancients to never leave the realm of ancients. He even told us to go after Zane and Balin, who were actually trying to help people. Well, I am glad I never was a part of that place. Luckily you two were able to see through his corruption. 
It was all Zane and Balin who got us to see the truth. They could have easily killed us, yet they chose to help us. And that's what this place is about, helping people. And taking down bad people. So how did you and Zane meet? That's a story for another time. This is quite a nice group you are building. Yeah, I guess so. You should be proud, you're a leader in a group that will change the world. Sometimes I just don't think we are being led in the right direction. Little King Ryan isn't a threat to us, he's just banishing people and running a tight, secure empire. Sure, he's hard on his citizens, but he isn't even committing crimes. We shouldn't allow people like Ryan to exist. Leaders should be trustworthy and strong. A telltale sign of a corrupt leader is using lies and fear-mongering. Sometimes a leader needs to lie to keep the peace. There's a difference between keeping the peace and just trying to get more power. I guess so. Come join Alpha Underground. The toughest mercenaries in all the worlds. Wow, this would make recruitment so much easier. How did you find out about this place? Oliver and I stumbled upon it while on the run. We actually went here to try and find a place. But the brutal atmosphere turned us away. Well, what do you mean? People that actually come to join these places are outcasts with no home and nowhere to go. They usually will go to the bigger groups and empires that can offer more security. Well, like Jerky Line once told me, we have to make ourselves unique, give people what they want. That may get us some traction, but this place is also incredibly rigged. <sighs> of course it is, nothing can ever be perfect. The Slack Authority gives premium advertising to larger empires who pay for it, so it's really hard to draw any attention to the smaller groups. Ugh, look who's taking advantage of it. Join the Little King Ryan Empire. We promise safety and security. The powerful, incredible, Little King Ryan will banish anyone who disobeys, keeping the Great Empire safe from all threats. That's probably why his empire has been growing so much. He partnered with Slack. Great, two corrupt authorities joining forces, just another thing for us to deal with. Well, now we have to make people join us over him. I have a better idea. You sir, are you considering joining the Little King Ryan Empire? <gasps> Attention members of this fine city. Little King Ryan is a fake and a fraud. He claims to have the power to banish people from his empire, but he's nothing but a petty thief who stole a ban hammer from the Reddit gods. He uses it to banish anyone who speaks out against him. This very city is partnered with him. Now, instead of people joining groups based on what they can offer, they are joining based on what Slack can promote the hardest. Together, we can defeat these corrupt authorities. Come join the Quad Blocks Craft Alliance, and we will fight to take him down along with other corrupt rulers. Let's get out of here. We've made way too much noise. Nah, I want to speak to the manager. Come on. Him. Let's go speak to the manager then, shall we? Stand down. I will not hesitate to. 
partnering with Little King Ryan. You know he's an awful corrupt emperor, right? He offered us a lot of money, okay. That's all you care about, money. I have a city to run. You're just another corrupt authority. So many nowadays. Little King Ryan told me about you. Why can't you just let people do what they want? Stop interfering when it's none of your business. I will not allow corrupt authorities like this to continue to exist. It is my civic duty to take them down. This is an act of war. You understand. Little King Ryan will hunt you down and destroy you. Well, maybe I want a war. That was... Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> you should have told me they were so corrupt before we went there. Would have brought reinforcements. It seems we did fine on our own. You're a good fighter. I can't believe we just did that. Oliver and I always wanted to fight these places, but never did because we were afraid of making too much noise and getting found out by the Discord mods. You don't have to worry about that anymore, Olivia. You're safe with us. I'll make sure the Discord mods never lay a hand on you again unless they're begging for mercy beneath you. Thank you. Thank you for all of this. I'm glad I have a place where I can feel safe and welcome. Quadbox craft members would be there for each other and always keep each other safe. I know we're pretty small now, but I will grow this place into a real community. Trust me. It sucks that we never got anyone from the advertising since we just destroyed the entire damn place. It may not be entirely true. Go back to Slack in a couple days and see if you can find anyone who took my message at heart. Maybe some people there had a hatred of Little King Ryan for taking all the advertising attention. Maybe they just want a good fight. But there could be people who want to join us. Alright then. Hopefully our army will grow. If we want to win this war, we have to build an army. Slack won't be the only place I'll go for recruitment. This is just the beginning.